everyone and welcome to story time with baby yeah, it's been a while since you've read a book hasn't it yes yes yeah. helper do you, do, you, do you still remember how yes I remember how to read in fact now that school started I'm learning how to read bigger words oh that's impressive yes and this book is actually a request from one of my fans well, I have many fans you know well I mean you gotta keep cool I do. I do. I'm very sweet. All right. Well, do you want to read it now? Yes. We are going to read Where the Wild Things Are, Story and Pictures by Maurice Sendak. Here we go. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind and another. Oh, no, that poor puppy. Poor dog. His mother called him Wild Thing. And Max said, I'll eat you up. It's not a very nice thing to say. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. Oh, boy. That very night in Max's room, a forest grew. That's not normal. That's not normal. And grew. It's getting big. It is. And guess what? It grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. It's kind of neat. Although, I'd miss my bed. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max and he sailed off through night and day. That would be a little scary, I think. Yeah, especially all by yourself. And in and out of weeks, and almost over a year, to where the wild things are. Man, it's a long trip. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars, and gnashed their terrible teeth, and rolled their terrible eyes, and showed their terrible claws. Those things are, don't seem very nice. Till Max said, be quiet. Oh, sorry. Be still. Same thing. And tamed them with a magic trick of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking till they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all. Hmm. Must be, he's kind of a tough kid, huh? and made him king of all wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. What's a rumpus? Now look, look at these pictures. Oh my goodness, they're jumping at the moon. And there's another one. Oh, and they're swinging through the trees. Are they a bunch of monkeys then? They, they are wild things. Oh, they're wild things, that's right. They're things. Oh, and they're, they're like having a parade. And mm. Max is the king. Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Who do you think would love him best of all? Oh, hold on, there's more. Oh, sorry. Then all around from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. <laughs> and he gave up being king of where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. How's that love? And Max said, no. Then the wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye. He's brave and sailed back over a year, and in and out of weeks and through a day. And into the night of his very own room, where he found his supper waiting for him. Even though he'd been naughty that day, his mom. Made him and it was still hot. Oh. Well, that's, that's where the wild things are. I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Bye.